hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so today we are going to create an api to update the user detail via our generated token so let's get started so first of all what we need to do is we need to create another route another api to update the profile so let's create it okay it will be a post route and name will be create profile and function here will be update profile so now in our user controller let's create a function and here we receive quest now let's just copy it from here to here move this so before doing anything we also need to validate our data so you can say validator here we will define our rules so here when we upload the profile we have these fields name email and uh, today we also upload a profile picture of that user so let's validate these things so name should be required and it should be a length of Minimum two and maximum will be forty five and email email should be required and it should be an email and it should be unique. So now in that case, if we are making it unique, we also need to define that it should exclude the current user's ID. What it what does it mean is when we apply the unique validation it will check for all the records but now if we update this it will find the same email in the record of that id which we are logged in so we need to exclude that id from this unique function so to exclude it we need to pass unique users comma id and here we need to pass an id of that day of our current authenticated user so what it will do is it will exclude this record from the unique and now here you can say profile picture and it should be nullable. Nullable means it's not required actually, and it should be an image. Okay, so now let's, let's copy these things from here. Now, if our validation is failed, it will return the error and here first we will need to find the user find and say request dot the user dot id now and now we need to assign these values to our user object dollar user dot name is equal to dollar request dot name user dot email will be paired with request dot email and now now here to upload a file first of all we need to check if we are receiving a file or not so you can say request dot profile picture and and dollar dot profile picture dot h 
well, it, it will check if its file is successfully uploaded or not in our temporary directory so now now we need to get actually what we will do is uh, we will uh, give the file a different name and we can do it by say variable file underscore name equals to time it will generate a random things dot dot and what we can do is we can get the extension of the file extension and now let's upload it dollar dot profile picture dot move so move function is responsible to upload the file in our public directory so we can we need to pass here the path public underscore path and we can say it should be uploaded in, in a images folder and and in the second argument we need to pass the file name okay now our file is uploaded now we can we also need to get the path to store in our database so we can say path will be we can store the path from the public directory so we can say public images and dollar file name and now we can assign this path or user object and then we can say user dot update and we can return this status to message will be a file updated and data will be dollar user object okay so we have created our function to update the profile now let's uh, test it on the postman so let's copy it here and it should be update profile so we need to change this now let's uh, Add the authentication token first of all here accept application JSON and in the authorization we will pass the token of the user as a and now let's just hit it let's see what so here we are receiving the validation messages the name is required so let's pass the name it should be as as so as you can see currently it's only as a let's pass as a sharma and name after that pass email so we are not changing email for now let's just copy it from here to here now let's just okay as you can see our profile has been updated here our name has been updated but now actually I have tested it before so that's why it is coming failed so let's let, let's upload a file now and we will see it in the directory so file picture and to upload a file you can select it from text to file and select and let's upload any file from let's choose this one and we can say okay extension does not okay here okay we made a mistake here it should be 
txtn extension now let's okay. test it okay so now we are, our file has been uploaded file picture is updated let's see what yeah as you can see this is our root folder in the public and the images we have our file with a random generated name so now our image is also updated, uploaded and our profile let's now upload change the email so you can say sharma. let's send it and yeah our email is updated name is updated and our profile is also updated now you can access this image directly like this